At a guess, man will figure out the physical brain, but will consciousness evade our understanding? The brain is like a car engine. When it doesn't have any gas, the car engine cannot run, but when it has gas, it can. Just so, when there is electricity in the nervous system, the person is alive, and when there is not, they are dead. That is why when people's hearts stop, they can often be brought back to life by a defibrillator, a device that induces a strong electromagnetic pulse to shock the heart back into its normal functionality. This means of tricking death is, of course, not a permanent cure. You cannot, so far as I know, resuscitate a dead body by any amount of electrical voltage after the brain has been deprived of oxygen long enough for its cells to suffocate, around 8 to 10 minutes. So, essentially, consciousness is a process of the electrochemical nervous system interacting with the photoelectric force. Theoretically, consciousness can outlive the body's death, but it would still require a vessel to carry its memories, willpower, and imagination in just as the idea of the Merkaba in Kabbalah, a computer network in transhumanism, or just a soul in most religious belief systems founded on mysticism.